required about eight minutes. The ski already you won't hold anybody longer than we have to. Our, again, our, our annual of Malke will take place in Mitzvah Hashem, Mitzvah Shabbos Nachamu, which is August 1st, and it will be a very special honor to mention the Nishamis of, of those that are with us no longer, the singer boys, their mothers, of Madich and Ganeiden, Shifri Rikibas, Rav Mordechai, Mrs. Singer, and Rav Heishe, Rav Mal, Allah Rishon, Shane Ibrahine, Bas Rav Ramsvi, amongst others. And also be honored at Rav Lava Malki, somebody who wor works, he's a doer, he works quietly, and he made a big difference in our Bismedrish in many ways that the uh, Yezu Yankif, Dr. Steinberg, he'll also be honored at our Mav Malki Mitzvah The Medrash, Yiv Kod Hashem, the Kei Aruch HaZlohobosah. The time came for Moshe Rabbeinu to pass the leadership on. The Medrash brings some very magnificent stories, the benefits that are reaped by the Nishamis when children say Kaddish for them. Very beautiful stories, how it changed their whole, they, they were ascended to a different level from when the children w uh, took the time to go down and learn in their memory and say Kaddish in their memory. Very beautiful stories, Moish brings. And uh, we ourselves here in our uh, it it's had it's, uh, it did chesed in Achayim Val Meishim. It helped both those on high and those that came to say Kaddish. But through the Kaddish, they, they, brought, they came back to life. Those that came to say Kaddish came back to life. We had one, one young man who, came, who lost his mother and he came to say Kaddish for his mother conscientiously, faithfully. He didn't miss one Kaddish. He braved the exhaustion from the heat and the storms of the winter uh, to say Kaddish. And uh, it, it did for him quite a bit. He became closer and closer. It began to grow on him. The Jew Yiddish kind of Judaism became more and more observant and was gaining a background in, in Judaism, Yiddish kind. And uh, that's his mother. Then he finished up the year. A while later, his father passed on. For his father, he, uh, he wasn't quite as conscientious and uh, he, after some, a short period of time, he disappeared and I tried to calculate, it seemed like maybe just about 30 days. I thought there's some of those that, you know, little knowledge is worse than no knowledge. Some of those that were, might have informed them 30 days is enough. Maybe perhaps that was, I wasn't quite sure, but I didn't want to push it. So I was looking for the opportunity to run into him. And I meet him one day. I said, oh, Mark. I said, Mayor, I'm so happy to see you. You know, we enjoyed having you. And I think you enjoyed coming. Whatever you did for your mother, I think your father deserves the same. So he said, well, I'll tell you the truth, Rabbi. I said, the way you came across in the merit that I said Kaddish for my mother, uh, and that merit assured that she should go to Ghanaian, to heaven. I'll tell you the truth. My father and didn't get along. If I do the same for him I did for her, he said, I'll continue, I'll do the same for him, continue fighting. Let him stay where he is, let her better stay where she is. But that's, that's only his. But Yiv Kod Hashem, the King Ruchas, when Moshe Rabbeinu came the time for him to pass on the leadership, he wanted very much, Rashi brings, he wanted very much that his sons should succeed him. So the Rabbani Shalom, the Almighty told him it would be very befitting that your loyal and devoted Talmud, Yoshua, who served you so uh, conscientiously uh, and with such devotion, it's only befitting that he should become the leader of Kladisro. Like Shleim Amalek writes in Mishlei, the one who guarded 
the fig tree, he's the one that should eat the fig. There was a, a grandson, a Yossi, who took upon himself <coughs> to observe the Kaddish and observe his grandfather's yard sale. His mother was one of four daughters. His grandfather left her no sons, only four daughters. So there was no son to say Kaddish. He was the one that, had, that said Kaddish. The night of the yard site rolled around, and he couldn't attend an earlier minion for Meyer, so he came to a, a mismatch where he struggled for a minion for Meyer. So this young man, Yossi, stood outside, and he worked very, very hard at such devotion till he finally pulled in ten people. The tenth one that he pulled in, he was in Kaddish for his grandfather. The tenth one he pulled in and said, oh, I'm glad we have a minion. He said, because I'm a mourner. I'm saying Kaddish for my father. There's an order of precedence. Where, um, of course we can mourn. We, we miss, if you lose a grandfather, a great grandfather, you lose, whoever, whoever you lose, you can miss them. But in the in Allah, the category of mourner is a father, is a, a child, a brother, a father. It's, uh, uh, that's not in the, in, in so far as the precedent for Kaddish, that's not a martyr. So he said, I, I'm the one, I have Gidimi, I get preference over you and I should say Kaddish. So they, they told him, they told him this Rashi here in Pinchas, being that he went through all that trouble to put together that minion, so he is the one, Maitre Taylor, he is the one that has the the Kaddish, the the, 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 Ahmed, the Kaddish comes in. There is in many communities and still till today, they, they, there is a, uh, a custom that in the entire can be ten people saying Kaddish, fifty people only one says, one says the Kaddish. So they somehow divide it up. Who one will say not just the question of leading the the davening, but saying Kaddish, uh, only one says. So in that particular respect, only one could say Kaddish. So he said, "Here, the gra even though he's not a mourner, he's a, gra a grandson, and the other one is a mourner. So he has to. The, the, the grandson is the one that. But in, in addition, the Adiris brings that uh, he says if someone, he says, is." Uh, reads the Torah, and, uh, and he, he wants to say Kaddish, and there's somebody else there that might be a mourner or likewise, so he said, being that he read the Torah, if he wants, he has to say the Kaddish, uh, and uh, 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 if someone will be nice enough to be the host, where they can, in his house, to gather together minion, so he also would be the one that uh, that would have the right to say the Kaddish Okay.